Two most common misconceptions that I see among people, they tend to think that uh, they can wait for their vaccinations just towards the last minute of travel. And uh, that is not entirely true. Just like on-time vaccination during childhood is important so that children develop immunity prior to facing those potential life-threatening organisms. Similarly, it is very important for people who are traveling to prepare well ahead and uh, get their vaccinations done at least three to four weeks before their departure so that they have developed immunity uh, to fight those organisms or life-threatening infections. Another misconception which we see are people who are raised uh, outside North America but now living here and they tend to think that they will go back and they will be fine and they will not get the yellow fever or malaria and uh, which is not true as well. Most of the um, infections which are vaccine preventable diseases have been eradicated from North America but they might still be present in other countries and it is essential to go ahead and get vaccinated against these infections so that your body is prepared to fight when you face those potential infections. As an infectious disease specialist in travel medicine clinic, I can not only provide um, advice and consultation about anti-malarials, vaccinations, water and food safety, but we can also advise patients who will be going and climbing mountains. Acute mountain sickness can be lethal um, at very high altitudes. So it will be a great visit for you to discuss your options of treatment and how to prevent acute mountain sickness. So I suggest all travelers, just like you're planning um, your hotel stays, your rent a car, uh, similarly plan a visit to a travel medicine clinic well in advance so that you can get the proper advice about safety and health while you are traveling and upon your return so that you can have a good and safe travel.